I mean, eating an animal's tongue aside, you know how often creatures lick their balls? You want to eat the instrument with which they use to clean their testicles? Be my guest. I'm not doing it. What is going on guys, Ryan? You're back with another episode in the Ark Survival Evolved series. Here I am with my broodlord. I just kind of tamed off camera last night because I was exploring and I saw his ass and I could not. I could not pass up the opportunity. He's just too amazing. Unfortunately, he was only like level 50 or something when I tamed him. So he went down in a couple trank darts. He's not the strongest creature ever. He could be a lot more powerful. He went down in about five trank darts, actually. I assume each of them do a few, few hundred torpor. I don't know. I've been out of the extinction mod for so damn long. But these are the most advanced darts up at German's base right now. So I assume they're... Actually, no, I could have sworn there was more advanced tranquilizing darts. But then again, I haven't played with the extinction mod in forever. So that's my confusion. Either way, here's my buddy, the Broodlord. I need to change his name for sure because, I don't know, Broodlords, I don't want to call my pet Lord. That seems a little, like, I don't know, it seems a little abrasive. I don't think he's in charge of me. My Xeno Crusher, my Xeno Crusher Ripley's still over at German's base. For those of you wondering, I'm, I'm in the blue crystal biome. See, I know, like, I said I was going to build a base in Africa. Like, that was, my, that was my prime choice. But I also said it was up to the subscribers where I was going to land. And there was about... It was like two-thirds of the people wanted the blue crystal biome and one-third one in Africa. So I'm thinking I'll just build like a little a little fort in Africa or something like that make everybody happy. Here I am here though to find whichever land I see fits to make my base down on. Something's doing something, man. Something's going on here. Some like foreign concept. Look at this guy. His tongue freaks me the shit out. Also, excuse me if my voice sounds like ridiculously raspy. It's my first video of the day and I feel like my, you always wake up with a sore throat and then you have to like talk for an hour before the sore throat's completely gone. I hate it, but it's life, you know? Okay, dude, you are slow as shit. He's actually not that tall. When I first got him, I thought he was like the biggest, giantest beast ever. And now, I'm not sure if he's been shrunk a little or what's going on there, but there's a troubling amount of creatures that are taller than me in this biome. Oh, Jesus, I feel allergies hitting me right now. My throat's starting to itch like crazy. That explains the unusually sore throats. All right, you bitches. This creature is so damn slow. Oh, my God, just so much damage. It doesn't even matter how slow it is. But obviously it has to rank up a bit. See, it is still like brand new. It's only leveled up a couple times. And I, I was gonna go just melee damage and like uh, freaking health, but now it appears stamina and movement speed are very important bits. Dude, holy shit, I'm like sweating. I'm so sad. It's finally hot again in California. I really loved those two or three weeks we have of not being over 90 degrees, but it looks like those days are over. All right, you bitch. Come on, damn it. There we go. Oh, my God, this is gathering so much resources. If you could just chop down trees and gather that, you'd be my everything, buddy. All right, so at this rate, we're going to level up pretty damn fast. I'm putting it all towards movement speed until he gets to, like, 200. Because he's essentially my steed right now in this biome, and I need him to be a little more equipped for combat. He's, like, my primary buddy till I build that teleporter and get my Xeno Crusher over here. But even then, that Xeno Crusher is really more of a steed. It's not as much of, like... It's not gonna help me out in combat as much until I tame like 50 of them. And then that shit'll just be dope. Alright buddy, get your stamina back up. God, he, he may look giant and epic, but he also has a very bad smoking addiction. He's also a fat bastard. See, I feel like we shouldn't be able to spot your boas from on top of you, buddy. You should be, you should be big enough to that extent where that's no longer an issue. Suppose it's not gonna happen though. God, I forgot I'm still such a complete noob in this. I have to like make my whole everything. I've just kind of gotten supplies from German's base. Now I gotta go make my own. Okay, now call me crazy, but I feel like my base needs to either be on that big-ass tilted rock over there. Dude, Sarko, quit being a douche. Come on, man. There we go. Our, la our last shot at it was the success. See, I feel like that island right there, that's a pretty baller-ass island right there. Of course, this one's pretty dope, too. So it's that one's very tilted, though. I feel like a slanted. Might be a little hard. I don't even know how the shit to get up there, in fact. These oceans seem to be creature infested. I see a Lagiacris and a Gobel just chilling right here in the water, which makes this the perfect biome to set up my base. There's just, there's just no way it's not gonna be here. I swear to God, if you die right now, buddy, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm going to be very heartbroken. All right, we're gonna kill this bitch. You going down, Gobel? That's not a Lagiacris. That's that new one. Crap, that thing's very powerful. Even though Lagiacris is very powerful as well, but it looks like he's kind of stuck in the deep water. He can't yeah, get wrecked. He can't come up here. So as long as we avoid the deep water, we avoid him. That's That sounds like a plan right there. He's essentially Jaws right now. Dude, I do think the Africa biome was amazing. Like, it was definitely one of my favorites, but that's just because I've been on such a huge Conan thing. Like, I've been just playing Conan. I have like 50 hours in Conan. Game's been out for like a week. Like, it's almost broken me and my girlfriend up. It's gotten pretty bad. So I think that's just why I was so attached to that biome, because it, um, 
it looks like Conan. But this is just undoubtedly the most gorgeous shiz ever. So I don't blame you guys at all for having for having this beer. So don't you even try it, you little bitch! I may have been born yesterday, but I know for some shit is biting me. <gasps> it's leeches! Oh no, we're getting leeches. How did I not notice that? I didn't see the little logos in the top corner that my face is probably blocking, but then I see this little leech swim right up to me. Dude, this guy really was like, he's, I guess he's a good, he's a good steed. I mean, he's not OP. It's, my favorite thing about him is he doesn't have that much health or movement speed or anything, but his attack damage is just insane. Like, that's where nothing else compares. Which makes sense because he has giant titanical claws. And I'm now realizing I'm not going to be able to get up on this rock, am I? I have to fly up there and then just make a teleporter. That's what's happening here. Son of a bitch, my dreams were just squashed. Because it has to be something that this guy is capable of walking up onto. If you can't walk up onto it, that's kind of a deal breaker. Dude, this is the most monster infested area ever. It's actually ridiculous. Look at that. Dude, that Gobel is taking dives at some shit. That's so cool. He's just like, look, he's jumping out of the water like crazy over there. He's like a dolphin at Disneyland. Or wherever the hell dolphins jump. I don't think there's any dolphins at Disneyland. There's a lag yakris right there. There's a... Nope, I thought you were a gobel. No, nope, not a gobel, I mean a, a... Oh shit, I'm forgetting monster names. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. Oh, by the way, make sure to smack that like button if you guys... If he, dude, he just took a dive at me and missed. What a little shit! <laughs> you kidding me? Alright, I'm killing this lag yakris right here because if we can't kill this guy, then I don't think we even belong in this mine. We're not, we're not set to survive here. So we gotta kind of prove ourselves a little bit. You're going down, bitch! Come on, we can do so much damage. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. He's only level 24, so he's an easy-ass target, but I still feel very accomplished. This creature is very powerful. It's just very important that you kill things before they do a lot of damage to you, or he's going to get vaporized. Look at him just taking dives at this thing. That's so beautiful. He's like, look, he just wants to bite him so badly, but he's just out of his reach. He's just going to jump at him for all of eternity. Well, not for all of eternity, until I get over there. And make sushi out of his ass. Come here, buddy. I feel like there's a chance we could just vaporize that dragon, but at the same time, he's from an entirely different mod. Oh my god, allergies, you dirty bitch, quit making me sneeze. But at the same time, he's from an entirely different mod. I'm not sure what his base stats equal at. I'm, I'm pretty damn familiar with the Monster Hunter monsters. I've played, I've like a good 50 hours documented with just messing around with those. How the hell is a dodo bird? Like, how's a terror bird? How am I in the terror bird's food chain? How do you see this and go, damn, I'll bet that tastes good. Although, I bet there's a lot of muscle on that tongue. A lot of people eat tongue because it's like one of the richest muscular parts on an animal, apparently. It's disgusting. I'd rather just not eat good meat, man. I don't want to eat an animal's tongue. I mean, eating an animal's tongue aside, you know how often creatures lick their balls? You want to eat the instrument with which they use to clean their testicles? Be my guest. I'm not doing it. Dude, these biomes are legitimately infinite. Like this, this map actually goes on forever. I've been walking, I've, I've traveled so far through this biome and there's no, it's just literally, you bitches! It's just, it's just end, no end in sight. Dude, do not let them take me. Do not let them take me. <laughs> what am I doing just floating there? Hang on. What's happening here? Okay, I seem to be still on the creature, but my guy's back there. And I can't dismount. There's something happening right now that's very sketchy. Pick me up! What's happening here? Okay, so I'm still on the creature. And he's just back there, is that what's happening? But I'm still... But I can't dismount. There's definitely something bad going on here. <laughs> Dude, I've been separated from my body, spiritually and physically. I'm so confused. I just did the most craziest shit anyone's ever done in ARK ever. I re-logged to fix the issue, forgetting that this is not Conan. This is a much larger server with like a bazillion mods stuffed into it. No way in hell am I fighting that dragon godling because that bitch is crazy. She'll probably kill me, but um, it took, it took like a good 15 minutes just to get back in here. It was crazy, man. It, it didn't seem like that long except for the fact that it's like 95 degrees in my room, which can make anything feel like an eternity. It's nuts. I'm about to switch from like a, a, a freaking baseball cat to a sweatband. I'm killed something in front of me. Yeah, you're getting... Oh, adolescent Stego. Oh, big tough guy, Johnny. You're so hardcore. You killed a child. Kudos, man. You had to teach me your skills one of these days. Alright, I'm just setting up base on one of these little islands. I've been walking for so damn long, and until I get a teleporter and a flyer, I'm not going to be able to build on any of these awesome little mountains that I want to. So I'm going to have to settle for some bottom bitch floating island thing, but it's going to be okay. You get wrecked, son! Yeah, Crystal Wyvern. Thank God everything here is such a low level. And thank God this creature I'm on has such insane melee damage. He really does not give people the opportunity to hit him back. And that's what I love about him. Oh, is this another child? See, we're bigger than the kids. That's cool, at least. Are we even? Jesus Christ. This kid's gonna be a giant one day. He's already taller than me. He's even a teenager. 
All right, God damn it! Come on, we're stuck on the infant. All right, it's got to kill the adult. See, this is all just fresh experience points right here with which we are going to need. All right, see, this is the only issue with this guy. You got to hit once you're within range. If you do it any far at all, then your claws won't register. Yeah, son, you know what else is crazy about this guy is whenever you click with anything, they bite once or they attack. Burp. And then you have to click again and they, they bite. You know, every click is an attack for the most part. But with this guy, every time you click, it's three attacks. Like one, two, three. So it's, there's really no escape in the shiz whatsoever. It's actually beautiful, a creature with multiple attacks. The more that foo-foo one attack shiz, time to step our game up. You know what? This little spot will work just fine. Yes, it will. This little island is going to be my setup fort until I figure, until I just get a teleporter. I suppose just next time German or someone's online, I'll just ask them to make me a teleporter. That way I could teleport just up on because like otherwise I'll just have to advance for well, otherwise I would just essentially go grab the resources out of German's base which is just just kind of pointless you know it's like why not just ask son of a bitch my inventory is so little see I feel kind of silly making all these things with like all this crazy shit is just about to be unlocked in a little bit but it's fine I actually don't like building too like technological when you're kind of in the woods you know what I mean like I don't want to just build a full on metal giant castle structure in the middle of all this beauty but just kind of shit on the shit on the landscape a little bit so right now i'm just going basic little wooden fort man just little lug shack so i have this area down just so i could essentially spawn here next episode and get cooking right away although i might need to call in some reinforcements i'm gonna go kill some crazy ass creature i like i just that's just my immediate incentive it's just you know what though i do still need to get full on tech armor like this tech armor i have now is from the tech armor mod my beard just poking through it so so, <laughs> so retarded but uh, once I actually, I still need the actual tech armor, which of course enables you all the tech powers and everything. So I still need to up my game for sure. All right, buddy, I'm gonna use you to get me onto this thing. You're gonna be my ladder. See, sometimes it comes in handy having a giant creature. Actually, it always comes in handy. <gasps> you useless bitch! One thing I totally forgot, dude. I haven't leveled my guy up in forever. Holy hell! Jesus! Gotta get that movement. I forgot, I need at least 160 movement speed to avoid half the creatures in this world. Like, there's some terrifying things. But one thing, I'm not 100% sure if this creature's been updated yet, because he's he's not necessarily able to attack anything before he's updated, so I'm, like, kind of concerned. But as long as, like, that's just so things can attack him, and then it... No, no, he's got it. He's... he's. Do you, do you have that update yet, buddy? Come on. Can you attack things, or do I need to be careful, or do I need to be scared that something's gonna kill you when I'm offline? And then I'm just screwed. Come on. J Jesus Christ, Johnny. Click correctly, for the love of God. He's hauling ass. You're just, you're just gonna get, let him get away? I don't want to have you run out into the water, because then you'll just get stuck forever. Dude, you're just gonna sit there, huh? You're just gonna sit there while I get tranquilized. See, this is the only issue with this guy, is he still does not come on, buddy. Look, he wants to attack him so bad, but he just doesn't possess the power yet. He wants to as bad you bitch. Look, see, as soon as you get on him, though, he can do whatever he needs to do. But that's, that's the only issue there. Because I am going to have to be careful. This is a good corner to leave him in, though. I generally haven't seen anything I have to worry about in this area. So I feel a little bit safe. This is the weirdest little quick base ever. But you know what? It's going gonna, it's gonna to get me around. And that's all that matters in this weird little life we're living. No, that's not what matters at all. But you know what? It's just, it's just going to have to do. It's just gonna have to I actually like it up here. I like the seclusion. This will forever remain a little lookout spot for me because it's just all kinds of damn fancy. You can't deny its awesomeness. My camera even just shut off because of how freaking awesome it is. It's crazy. A lot of people have been wondering why my videos have been ending without face cam recently, especially with Conan, and it's because I've just been recording so much more. Once I introduce another survival series like Conan, then there's literally like that each video, each like 30, 20 minute video is a good like two hours of recording and this camera can only hold so much it's only got so much life in it but I th it really does damage see the thing is it also records in like 4k sometimes it gets this it doesn't look 4k because of the way it's exported with the video and everything and i'm stuck in the floor son of a bitch see buddy you, i feel like he's i feel like he'll be safe here this is a generally good neighborhood i'm not worried about him you know i feel, I feel like he's gonna be okay i feel pretty excited about this I also feel like we're gonna be like virtually untouched up here, which just sounds all kinds of awesome. You bitch! Dude, I love having this guy near me, the Broodlord. I just wish he was able to, I know like obviously it'll end up being an update for sure, like it always is. There's no reason that some update wouldn't be pushed out later on where he's able to attack stuff, but it's just, I'd feel a lot safer with this giant creature stalking behind me to protect me if he was able to 
it's like having a pacifist bodyguard, you know what I mean? Like, he's there to protect your body no matter what, but it's against his religion to put hands on another person, so, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know how he's gonna, he's, he's a meat shield, essentially. But could you even get a bigger meat shield? Like, that's the most impressive meat shield ever. Look, he's so big, he can't even make it through the tree line. I'm not getting you. You should be smart enough to figure out your way through that tree line. <laughs> this is called social Darwinism, buddy. If you can't make it through the tree line, you don't survive. Alright, he'll he'll be fine. I actually feel like he's he's adult enough to make it through this, you know? Alright, we need some kind of door that no one can ever get through, no matter what kind of raid they have planned. I think this one will do just fine. It's essentially completely raid-proof. They'll, they'll see it, they'll think we have nothing, and they'll leave. Are you kidding me? What do you think I put that? You know, I'll just worry about that later. Essentially, it's still pretty safe up here. It's nice to have a little front door open way anyway, so I can see what's going on just in other parts of the world. Essentially, nothing's going to attack me up here. I'm on my own little safe pedestal. There's my bed. Again, I just don't want to get too, like, invested into a, a base that I'm just going to end up leaving the second I have a teleporter, because that's exactly what's going to happen here. But as far as, like, safety goes from just random creatures all over the world and being attacked by a random shizzle, are you still stuck in the trees? Jesus Christ, buddy. See, I think that's pretty safe right there. Look at that. You need to get up the ladder. You need to have opposable thumbs just to reach my ass. So I think I'm pretty secure. I have confidence. I have more than confidence. All right, buddy. I know. You're just too big and you can't figure out your way through. It's like getting mad at your dog for getting stuck in, like, the staircase. Like those little bars that usually keep kids from falling over. See, he just can't attack on his own. That's, it's just, it's a disability I was making fun of him for. That's not cool. That's not okay. You know what? For a little starter bitch base, I actually really love this thing. <laughs> Look, it's just so perfectly put up on a freaking thing. This would be such a good raid-proof base in Conan, because essentially all you have to do is destroy that, and then no one can build around the vicinity to get up to you, or vicinity to get up to you, and you just rain down on them with arrows. Or they just sit down a bunch of tamed NPCs all around your base and just kind of lay siege for an hour, but, you know, there's there's ways around that. Alright, so yeah, here's our buddy Broodlord adding to Ripley our Xenomorph. Now we have two tame creatures. Next one, I'm probably going to tame a Monster Hunter monster because now I have a little place to keep my buddies. Not to mention so many of those creatures spawn in this biome right here, so we're chilling. See, so yeah, if you had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Yeah.